Well, just out of curiosity then, I'm like you, where you know you're, we're always going to invest no matter what the market's doing, where there's an opportunity somewhere. We just got to get a little more creative or we just got to find it and figure it out. What, just out of curiosity, right now, what are you shopping for? Um, I am being more cautious. Mm -hmm. My buy box is scaled back a little bit. Maybe I'm not as optimistic in what's going to happen. And so, you know, what's interesting is when you invest or you develop something, you're planning on selling, maybe it's in six months or a year, you're trying to predict what's going to happen. And so, if I've, I'm going to be a little bit more conservative on my buy now. Yep. And so if I'm scaling that back 10% or 15% or whatever it might be, um, I'm just not planning. I'm plan That's why I said I'm planning on the market maybe going down 5% in the future. Yeah. If it doesn't, great. I hope it doesn't. Yeah. But if it does, then I'm cautiously optimistic. Perfect. What did the last recession teach you that you're now accounting for being prepared for the future? That's a great question, Yoshi. I'm glad you asked me that. Yeah. Um, it, it taught me that you've, when you're going to scale, you've got to scale to be better, not just to be bigger. Oh, I like that address. I so, like that. Um, I, you know, we've had the wind at our back for a number of years, right? Yes. Like, and it doesn't matter whether you're in stocks or real estate or you got a you know, financial planner. Yep. Everybody's killed it the last few years in the stock market, right? <laughs> right. Well, we're going to figure out who are the really good advisors, whether it's in real estate or finances, because they're going to help you cover your losses or you're going to invest more money to make some back. Yep. And um, we're going to really separate the wheat from the tares, right? Right. And so. We're going to scale in a different way, but another thing it taught me is diversify. Like I was just heavy on investing, and yeah. so ten years ago I'm like, look, I'm going to get better at helping sellers sell and buyers buy, and that's an income stream for me. So I've developed multiple income streams that help insulate me no matter what happens in the market, whether it's entrepreneurial yep. or property management or uh, you know whatever. Yep. Yep. I love it. Okay, perfect. We're going to take another commercial break, but when we come back, I'm going to be asking Justin if he thinks that another foreclosure boom is on its way, and I also want to ask him his advice on getting ahead if the market does fall. Wherever there's a negative, usually there's an opportunity for a positive, and I know I'm preparing for that. I want to hear what Justin has to say, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Yoshi Shiraki, the author of the book, My Body's Just For Me, the book written for children to educate children on the prevention of child abuse. With the assistance of multiple best-selling author Richard Paul Evans, we were able to publish this book as a tool to break the ice in an easy and innocent way to help children understand how to speak up and communicate. I've been invited numerous times onto Good Things Utah to discuss the importance of good communication with your child in regards to abuse, and also to discuss how the book My Body's Just For Me is a great tool for every parent when having that tricky conversation with their children. For more information on the book My Body's Just For Me, please visit www.protectourangels.com today. And remember, the more we focus on prevention, the less we'll have to focus on rehabilitation.